I was talking to this 14 year old and he shared with me what he likes to do. He likes to go to girls and see if he can shoot his shot, meaning see if he can get their number. And I asked him a question, I said, and then what? And he didn't have no answer. <laughs> and most don't because what I've realized and, I, and it's just a truth, the average man teaches that because that's what the average man does. It's like a game, you know? But I wanna share something with you or, and just, just a reminder to the average young man. A woman's heart is very fragile. When you show interest in her, what you're doing is you're opening up the space of possibility, hope in her heart. And if you don't have true intention with her, purpose, a godly intention for her, with her, you are potentially, a big potential, harming her. There's a purpose for dating. There's a purpose for pursuing a young woman to see if she is that wife. Or really, here's the thing, God will already show you <laughs> who that woman is. But I'm saying there has to be some level of interaction, dating. There has to be something there. But to get to know her, to pursue or enter into a covenant, a marriage. If you don't have that intent, there is no purpose. There is no no reason you as a young man need to be talking to that woman in a romantic way. There's no reason for you to get her hopes up and be flirting with her and all that stuff. You are hurting her heart. A woman's heart needs to be guarded. It needs to be protected. And it is up to the woman to do that. But as a young man, it is up to you. If she misses a mark, if she's not protecting her, then you step in and protect it by not pursuing her for your own selfish gain. A lot of times we say, shoot your shot. You know, a man got to shoot his shot. But when you think about it, those words that you're saying, shoot your shot, usually when somebody shoots a shot, you kill somebody. When you have that mentality, I want you to think about that. Like, am I sh what am I doing with this young woman? Do I have intention with this young woman? And to the young women, if this young man does not have intention with you, if you ask him, what's up, what, what do you want to talk to me for? He can't give you an honest reason. If he, uh, just to have fun, just, I don't know, cut it off. Because you can't live a convenient life. A convenient life is a life of no purpose. You don't know where you're going. You just get in a car and drive. Eventually, you'll run out of gas. Eventually, you'll be stranded somewhere. Eventually, you'll be stuck in a trap somewhere, huh? Eventually, you'll wish you never did what you did. You, you, you wish you never got in a car and start driving anyway. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't live a convenient life. Because if you do, you will allow a guy who has no purpose or intent for you live a convenient life with you. And usually it's just for his own selfish gain, his own selfish desires. So to the young man, if you don't have a purpose for her, if you don't have a purpose to pursue her, don't pursue her. It ain't, we make it harder than what it is. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Deal with your own issues. You need to play, go get a video game. You need to, your, your ego being boost, boosted, go play a game in basketball, I don't know. But don't, don't pour that out, that insecurity, that immaturity on another human, the woman's heart. To a young woman, you know, discover who you are, what you want. It's okay to say, I want commitment. It's okay to say, I am a wife. It's okay to make that boundary known. And the moment you see that a guy is not up to that, that standard, that level, you got to cut him off. Because a conversation with no purpose is a conversation with no boundaries. And where there is no boundaries, you will be greatly offended. There's hurt, there's harm, there's danger, there's destruction within the soul of a young woman and the man. That's all I got. Stay encouraged. Peace.